Hi, I'm Robert Petkoff, and I'm going to read an excerpt from Star Trek The Next Generation, Shadows Have Offended, by Cassandra Rose Clark. Computer, stop replay. Picard threw his hands up and turned to Troy. I take it I don't need to explain my conundrum to you? Ambassador Troy wishes you to be one of the high guests? Or frowned. It is a great honor, sir. Of course it is. Picard said quickly, but an honor that belongs to an artist, a philosopher like Econ Closer. I'm just... A starship captain does fit the parameters of a dreams guest, Troy said. Picard slumped down in the chair positioned behind his desk. Luoxana Troy was frozen on the screen, her expression brimming with delight. I know. He looked up at her. Tell me, is there any way I can refuse? Politely, of course. Hesitation flickered across the commander's face, and Picard already knew the answer. Damn, he said softly. It would be considered an insult for you to turn down the invitation, Troy said gently. Picard let out a long sigh. Is this an official invitation, or did my mother simply... Yes, Picard said with another heavy sigh. Resume replay. Luoxana's voice again filled the room. And Casimir absolutely agreed. How wonderful is that? So she pushed through a request to the ceremony director council and insisted on a last minute approval, which of course they did. Luoxana clapped her hands together. As soon as you're able, all you'll need to do is beam down and I will personally present the seal of invitation to you. Oh, Troy said, a last-minute approval. Picard did not like the finality of those words. If they rushed the invitation through, Troy offered him a thin smile. You will be a last-minute guest. I'm sure they won't expect you to do all of the ceremonies, just the unveiling. She paused. And the welcome celebrations, the cotillion, oh... I imagine the house performances. That's terribly important. Picard felt himself grow heavier with each additional task. It would be inappropriate for me to turn the invitation down. Troy glanced at Worf, who had been watching this entire exchange with an unreadable expression. Yes, sir. Worf shrugged almost imperceptibly. I understand. Picard leaned forward, pressing his elbows onto the table. Three days. That was the length of the entire celebration. The Enterprise would be in orbit waiting to return their assigned guests back to their homeworlds. Picard had intended to spend those three days on board the ship catching up on reports. So much for that plan. Very well. He straightened in his seat. Mr. Worf. With Commander Riker and Lieutenant Commander Data on Kota, you'll be in command of the Enterprise while I'm managing my... He closed his eyes. Duties. Counselor? Yes, Captain? Will you accompany me down to the Operations Building? I would appreciate your insight. Of course. She nodded and Worf turned to Picard. Captain, thank you for this opportunity, he said. I will not disappoint you. I'm certain of that. Picard thought that he should be focusing on the positives. There were worse tasks than serving a role in a three-day Beta Z ceremony. He did, however, see a glimmer of excitement behind Worf's cool facade.